cooking day Lewis day Lewis cooking day Lewis Hello and welcome to the cooking show de Luis. Today we are going to cook up a nice little, uh, how you say, a nice little um, quick lunch, yeah, with a, a little touch of Italian flavor and the, um, what do you call it? the cheese. We must have the cheese. So, we will start off right away and what you're going to need today is a little bit of the oil of the olive. You know, it comes from a, like a black grape looking sort of thing. It's like from that. And then uh, you have the oil from the, the grape black. And then we have the olive oil. So, what we want to do is you're going to need a little bit of the seasoning of the Italians people. A little of the parsley. And the, um, what else do we have here? Oh, we will put a touch of the... Um, the, the parsley, the basil, and some of the Italian breadcrumbs. Now, I'm doing this strictly from what I have in my kitchen, and this creation is just coming from my uh, whatever is in my fridge. So I have the bread, and I have some spices, and cheese. And then I have some of the pepperoni, and some of the ricotta cheese. More cheese, the better. This is what I have in my fridge, so I have to make something out of it. That's why I make this show for you. Um, so what you want to do first is you want to get a little plate, right? Like this. This plate. We get a fork. Of course, you need a fork. The fork. And then we will put some of the olive oil, right? You want to take this and you want to dash it in. You want to rotate as it comes around the plate, just roll it all around the plate. That's beautiful. This is what you want. You need a little, you take the fork, you know, you get a little stir, you make sure it's on the plate good, in a good setting. Okay, then you take some of the parsley. It doesn't matter how much you need, you just take a pinch, right? And you put it in. Beautiful, just like that. Then we'll take the basil. And I like a little more basil because it brings out the color in the olive oil. Also, it brings the taste to a strong bite on your tongue, like a tiger. So we'll take the basil and we'll throw it in, bam! Just like uh, my friend, the Emro, he says, bam! And then you want quite a bit of breadcrumbs, because you've got all the Italian people in here. You want to just take a bunch, like we could take a whole handful of this, right? It's a whole handful of this. And we could put all of it in, but I'm not going to put that quite that much in. But I put just enough and bam. Okay, so once you get that, you have the, the basil, the parsley, and the Italian seasoning. <laughs> then you need to um, mix it together. So we start the mix. We mix, we mix, we mix. With the fork, of course, because I have nothing else to mix with. The fuck, I live here by myself. So, and then you create this nice little texture olive oil with the spices in it. You see? This is what we want. We need a nice little uh, olive oil with the, the spices. Okay, then you could have some three months old frozen bread in your freezer. It needs to be quite aged. This is about two and a half months. Uh, so what you want to do is you want to preheat your oven to 350 degrees and then you stick this old bread. It's well aged. We shouldn't call it old, it's well aged bread and you want to stick it straight, you know, into the, the oven and let it de defar. So, once you do that, you have a nice bread, right, right here like this. This is actually three months old, this was only aged for two and a half, so it's still got another half month to go. Then you want to take a little bit of this beautiful stuff right here and you want to just kind of pour this all over the bread you want to soak into them into the, the offices of the bread just like they do this they do this all the time in italy but usually they use the bread that's aged for at least six months and i just i don't have any bread like that 
So you mix this all together, all together. We want to get every last little drip to get all the little flavors to hit your tongue. You know what I speak of, I hope. So, then you have some nicely lighted, coated bread, well aged bread, I might add, in the, um, in the kitchen on the plate. My nice J July 4th uh, styrofoam plate. Okay, the next step you want to take, you want to get some of this ricotta cheese, right? Bam. I tell you what, I could eat this all day straight like this. Just like, oh, just like that. Mm. Mm. This is the best cheese in the world, hands down. Take this spoon and take the cheese. You want to make sure it's a nice little, you know, good coating cheese, not not uh, moldy. You don't want the cheese to be moldy. Sometimes in my fridge, that's what all we have is moldy cheese, and I use it. It's, again, it's like using well-aged bread. It's uh, not the best flavor, but it has its own unique flavor that can bring a nice aroma into your kitchen or house. So what you want to do is take this and just kind of spread it all over like butter and I'm switching the accents I don't know I switch the accents I sometimes I like to do my show in a British accent so I will do it in a British accent you know I'm uh, from Albania I think so I just uh, anyways this is a, a home Italian dish and, and once you have the ricotta spread quite quite evenly like this almost like a uh, the cream cheese on the bagel right this is what it should look like so we're looking very lovely here we're, we're moving along at a great pace now you take the block of mozzarella cheese right and what you want to do the cheese tastes better depending on the way it's cut so if you can focus and you can cut in a a full body motion. You need to get your full body motion into this. If, look at that. Look at the cheese when you do your whole body motion. So we do again another full body cut. Look at this. See the shoulders and the whole bit just going. Look at that cheese. You cannot do that cut any other way. Again, full body. You know, it takes time to get this cut down, but when you get it down, you will be in the heaven. So we we'll go again. The full body, the full body, the full body. There we go. And again, the full body, the full body. Oh, this, this uh, little bit of mess up. Even the best, the professionals can mess up here and again. So we'll do another full body cut. One, two, three, four. There we go. A nice little full body. Okay, now we'll start to put cheese like a pizza on top of the uh, ricotta cheese. So we have cheese on top of cheese. This is a, it brings excellence out. The full body cut cheese is just looking marvelous. You have an off-white on top of another off-white, which just brings out the colors. <laughs> so, we we'll just keep continuing to place the cheese on the cheese. I like to do say that. The cheese is going on the cheese. You place it. When you put this on the on top of the ricotta you want to make sure you get a firm push you know so you stick it into the into the ricotta not just on the top so we get continue to do this a little bit more a little bit more a little bit more now this cheese since we did the full body cuts it's a little bit thicker than say you if you want to shred it so it's gonna need a little bit extra time in the oven to get the uh, to get the right meltage, as I like to call it. Meltage is like the perfect viscosity of the cheese. When the cheese is at the right viscosity, it's got good meltage. So we're going for good meltage, as you should always try to achieve on any dish with the cheese that will be cooked. So we're getting a nice full body cuts here. We're getting them very nice here. Oh, this is killing me, uh, my arms here. Okay, 